Hello friends, welcome once again. Here again we are going to do another problem. Uh, here, limit x tends to pi sine pi minus x divided by pi times pi minus x. Right? Initially we are getting like some variable tends to zero or the angle tends to zero, but here we are getting some constant value. Pi is some constant value, right? So again, don't hesitate. Again, don't hesitate, I mean to say, because when x tends to pi, right? What is our angle? That is pi minus x, right? So definitely pi minus x will also tends to zero because when x tends to pi, means x here, uh, here, this, this, this x is almost, almost equal to pi, not exactly equals to pi, again, almost, very, 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 very less, uh, I mean, infinitely small difference there is. Right? Uh, it may be almost close to pi, right? Or almost uh, a little bit, a little bit bigger than pi. So you can almost imagine that this x is pi. So pi minus pi will be almost zero. But this is not pi again, I'm telling you. Very, 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 very close to pi. Or you can say almost equals to pi. That's why that's zero, right? So now we don't have any problem. Simply we're getting, again, well, almost we're getting the standard form, right? So let's do here now limit now I can simply write pi minus x tends to 0 and what is here it is here sine pi minus x over the pi minus x and we left this pi since this is a constant we don't have any problem we can put this constant anywhere anywhere I'm putting here somehow a little bit far or you can put this pi outside here right so again, you know that you're getting the standard form because this is limit, right? When angle tends to zero, sine of the angle over the angle equals to one. So here, pi minus x is your angle, right? So therefore, again, angle tends to zero. Therefore, angle divided by the angle. This whole quantity now, this whole quantity so turn to one and again, one by pi. So finally, your answer is 1 over pi, right? That's your answer. And friends, don't try to do here like sine 180 minus x. Don't don't use that formula that you will get minus uh, minus x somehow. Don't try to do in that way. It's okay. You can simply imagine that pi minus x is angle. Yeah, this is actually angle. So don't confuse, right? So uh, let's do another problem in next video that will boost you more, right? So please don't uh, don't forget to subscribe me and if you have any problems then you can share with me you can mail me uh, once I'll get free I will try to solve that right and let's do another following next video bye bye